His father and I found him. Holly Speck's son Nicholas died of a heroin overdose in the family bathroom August 8, 2013. She says if it was available then as it is now, she would have certainly had naloxone in the house. There would have been a kit in our home. There would have been a kit in Nicholas's grandparents' home, his aunt and uncles. We would have all had a kit with us. It could have made a difference. The Northern Kentucky Health Department is partnering with community agencies to make sure naloxone is available to anyone across the region. No questions asked. You take the spray, you get it, and you spray into the nostril uh, as quickly as possible. You're going to wait about two to three minutes. Administering it is easy. First responders are already using it across the area every day to save lives. This could be someone's mother or father. This could be a sister or brother or your child. Um, I think every life is worth saving. It's important to get it to the people that need it in a hurry. So the more people that are having it, you know, if somebody is carrying it in their purse or a family member has it in the house, um, to get people the help they need quickly is very important. Public health officials say the program is funded with private grant money. No cost to taxpayers, but empowers everyone. The ultimate goal for somebody with addiction um, is that we want them to get into treatment, improve their lives, and get on a path to a better life. Somebody can't do that if they've died. Our son, to the best of our knowledge, relapsed once and we lost him. You can bet it would have been in our medicine cabinet. Absolutely. Now this initiative has been around for a while, but the expansion of this rollout giving again the possibility of saving lives throughout the region. In Northern Kentucky, Richard Childs, WWT News 5.